Coliseum. Here's a long jumper and a beauty as it was Arno Adalamoto knocking one down from 18 feet in. One and a half minutes into our opening frame. Joe Harris on the left hand dribble, drives baseline, goes past the defense, banks it in with a foul. Now Kavanaugh finds an opening. He glides inside and banks it in off the window, despite the late presence of the hand from Darion Acton. They spread us out and did some good things, but we even lacked some soundness there, whether it was getting lifted on shot fakes or um, gambling a little bit. Jenny rotating the ball around now, trying to get some offense working here with 13.09 to play in the half, just still five points. Here's a nice move by Akil Mitchell as he spins one way, goes the other, and then banks it in off the window with a jump hook. I was very fortunate for Virginia because they didn't have anybody guarding him. Jones with his foot on the three-point line, misses the jumper, but the offensive rebound for Mike Toby, who will kiss it right back up and in. Usually 11 to 10 on the other side quickly. Here's a shot underneath. And that was Madison Jones laying one in up close. Slow down his game, a, a, a pace, a step. Inbound pass goes to Mike Toby, and he knocks one down from about 12 feet out, trailing by a point. Here's a pass to Mackay. He beats out Fisher, three-pointer on the way. He rattles it through. Look out. Deeks rotating the ball around the outside. Here's Harris at the top of the arc. Finds an opening, lets it fly. Three-pointer rattles home. Look out. Anderson at the top of the circle. Bounce pass for Toby. Toby's in the paint. Nice little jump hook inside as he uses the left hand and hits for his fourth field goal already of the night. But when the ball's in the air, he's just got to play behind. Inbound pass goes quickly to Mackay. He feeds to Thomas, and Thomas was left all alone for an easy dunk. Why they lost that game against Duke. Cavaliers on the other end of the floor now as Joe Harris pump takes now trying to feed it into a crowd and ultimately turns it over, taken away by Mackay. He feeds to Miller McIntyre. Now over to Fisher. Fisher comes inside back to Mackay. Pump takes, gets his man in the air, and kisses it in up close. You know, I told our guys they battled hard to get back to that spot, but don't take, don't feel too good about that. I think you got to look at um, the majority of that game and learn from that and uh, grow from it. We have to. This is the Miller McIntyre. He drives. He's at the elbow now. Backs it out. Mackay sets the three pointer. That's up and good. Set into the lane now. Beats it out left wing to Harris. Joe spinning around. Seven to play. Crossing over. Pump takes. Nice feed down low. He sends the pass over to Mitchell, who lays it in off the window with 2.2 seconds to play. Ten to shoot for the Deacons. Harris needs to go to work. He's working on the defense from Jesperson. Step back three pointer on the way and all on that. Here comes the inbound pass. Here's Mackay putting up another tough shot. This time he gets the roll and the foul as he's going to go to the line for a chance at a three point play. And that's the, that's the, the problem. Jesperson, and speaking of turnovers, how about another sloppy one as Jesperson's pass just went right off the hands of Atkins and out of bounds. Uh, we looked inside, we tried to, again, either we turned it over or we probably forced before much of anything else could happen offensively for a lot of the possession. With 15 turnovers and only 11 shots, Makai speed down low to Adala Moto lays it in with the reverse layup up close. So it's now a 14 point lead. Still plenty of time left. I think you just handle it possession by possession. Contested jumper from Harris. Won't go, but what a putback from Justin Anderson, who flushes it through with a one-hand jam. Here's a backdoor feed. Goes right back inside, and a layup underneath for Cody Miller McIntyre. Cavaliers could take advantage of the numbers advantage. Here comes Evans scooping the shot high off the window and good. That's John Tell's first points of the night. And Mitchell feeds it off to Evans. Evans into the front court. Passes to Harris. Harris travel. They're going to get him for a travel when he pump faked the shot and tried to make his move on the drive. He turns it over. 2.10 to go down by five. Lot pass inbound to Nolte, and he missed the easy stick in. Boy, Virginia had three up close shots on that possession alone and missed them all. On the road, you need to be able to make shots. Well, Cavaliers with a basketball. Evans goes into the air, feeds it out to Nolte. Here's a three pointer, and finally one goes down. Nolte knocks it down from the far wing left. John Tells into the front court, hands it off to Nolte. Nolte will pass to Harris. Harris pump fakes. Now he gets to the top of the arc, fires from three, and knocks down a three pointer as he splashes it through. So Joe pulls his team back to within three. Six out of 13 seconds to go. Bubs into the front court, need a quick shot one way or another. Evans will look to feed it off to Harris. Harris fires up a three, and he hits it from the near wing right. 6.3 seconds to go. It's not over yet, folks. It's down to a one. One point 
ball game. 55 to 52. Harris to pull the inbound trigger. He'll send it into to Evans. Evans races into the front court. He feeds to Nolte. Nolte lost it. Here comes Harris putting up a desperation three off the mark, and that's going to do it. We were outplayed for the majority of that game, 35 minutes, you know, and I think um, the effort was was okay, but the soundness is what was lacking. I have to have two good days of, of preparation and. You know, Clemson's coming off of a tough loss against Duke on the road, so you know we'll go in there and that'll be a hostile environment and they're very physical and, and um, you know, they play real hard, so we'll have to come in and play better.